Hey guys, Sylvia and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today I have a custom scenario that was thought up by Defeated Inc. 05. Now, before I start with the scenario, there are a lot of scenarios that get sent my way. Um, I have a pretty big backlog. I try to start listing these things as much as possible. But there is just a deluge of new scenarios and new battle things that you guys come up with. And I can only do so many of these vids and only keep track of so many of these things at the same time. Um, I'll try to get around to doing it as many as I can, uh, but it's drinking out of a fire hose with one scenario checked off and then three more appear. Um, <laughs> I'll try to get around to yours eventually. Uh, just keep posting it. Keep drawing my attention to it. Um, the fact that I don't pick your scenario is not a, s a situation where I don't want to, but there's just too much that I have to pick from. Anyway, today it's the Defeated Inc. 05 scenario that he came up with. At the start of World War II, Sweden was exporting iron to Germany via Norway. The Allies asked Norway and Sweden to stop. They said no. When the Winter War happened and Finland was invaded, Britain and France asked if they could move troops through them to help Finland and maybe take control of all of Sweden's iron fields. The scene is that in an alternate history, Sweden and Norway said yes, and the Allies declared war on the Soviet Union. You'll be in charge of the Russians in a battle against the British. Russia's technology will be 1930s, as their navy was underfunded. The British will have 1935 technology. You will have one battleship of your design that must be named Kalmykia, or Kalmykia. I will also have three heavy cruisers, three light cruisers, and four destroyers. The British are from 1935. They have one battleship, two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser and two destroyers. As Defeated Inc. writes, they have the strength, so they have the tech level, I have the numbers. So I'm just going to have to make sure that I, uh, well, I use those numbers to the best of my ability. Starting range is whatever is going to be optimal for me, which means I get to play around with this a bit. Um, judging that I have more destroyers, and potentially more torpedo tubes on heavy and light cruisers. I think a range of seven, let's seven, eight to eight thousand meters is better for me than for them because they don't have that many ships that can throw out torpedoes and quickly sink my ships. And the last thing I want is a long range duel because with five years technology, the British are bound to land more hits than I ever will. Their range finding technology will be better, their radar will be better. It is not a fight that I want to get into. I get to design the battleship, so let's get to designing the Kalmykia. Um, I can already build a modern battleship. That's... <laughs> Are you sure? Am I really supposed to be able to build a modern battleship in 1930? It seems a bit early. I don't have this on. See, now I have the unlock on. So, well, okay. I guess the Russians in 1930 had access to modern battleships. Right. Um, I'm going to make it a bit more difficult for myself and go with a modernized dreadnought. Because I think a modern battleship is... Especially with an underfunded navy... I don't see that happening. I think that actually the Dreadnought 4 might be better. The modernized Dreadnought is another step closer to the modern battleship. Let's say it's a, a pretty old ship. Alright, so I have to rename this to the Kalmykia. Displacement. Let's not make it too heavy. Because I don't think the Russians would build any particularly big ships. But then again, I don't know too much about that. Range, none, bulkheads, max. Uh, actually, do I need gear turbines? Do I really need a lot of engine power on my battleship? Not really. Not really. Engine weight. Oh, the engine weight does go down. Nah, screw it. Oil, force boilers, auxiliary engine. It's tempting to just go for turbo electric drive too. Um, I just don't think that they would have it. They might have an auxiliary diesel engine. Shaft, advanced propeller shaft one, armor, group four, barbettes, heavy barbette thickness, anti-torpedo three, triple hull, 
Reinforced, Anti-Flood 2, and Citadel. Would they already be using Turtlebacks and All or Nothing schemes? I don't think so. Let's go for an Armored Citadel. Right. Uh, yeah, this is way, way, way too advanced. Look at that. I can probably even get access to Radar. Pfft. Radar Rangefinder. In 1930? I don't think so. As for the turret, or sorry, rangefinder, uh, since I'm quite close, I don't need a long range gun bonus. So let's go with the coincidence rangefinder 4. Um, advanced hydraulic turrets, enhanced loading, and heavy shells. Oh, and an anti flood too. Right then. Modern tower? Alright. Do I really need this though? This is long range accuracy again. Aiming speed's quite high though, but it doesn't leave too much to go for Modern Tower 2 because that's also a high uh, aiming speed. Base accuracy is the same. This gets 38 long, ba long range accuracy. These are exactly the same. Okay. If they're exactly the same, then it doesn't really matter. So I'm basically comparing Modern Tower 1 to 2. A bit... bit more aiming speed, a bit more base accuracy. Let's go for Modern Tower 2. Oh, I can even fit a turret on that. That's neat. That's nice to have. Modern Secondary Tower... Yeah, let's just fuse those lifeboats right through the hole. Why not? Funnels... <laughs> can I do my favorite trick again? <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, I cannot do it like that. Oh, well. See, you can... <laughs> you can cheat your way through here. Well, is it if it's in the game, I'm not even sure if it's considered cheating. Uh, engine efficiency, 100%. Good. Right then, main guns. Centerline guns. I have access to 18-inch, but they are pretty outdated. Or, well, they're not that advanced yet. Mark 2, Mark 3, Mark 3, Mark 4, 13 inch. The higher the mark, the better the accuracy generally is. 13 inch dual barrel turrets. And then I might need to fit a barbette here. Oh, hold up. Let's move the whole superstructure forward. Need a way to get to that barbette slot. There. Whoops. No, 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 no. I don't want to take the whole superstructure. I just want to get this turret. Come on. Okay, four weight offset, 8.6%. So I would need to shift the rear turret slightly farther to the rear. No, I can space this thing out a bit. One point four point nine. Okay, let's say that the Russians would build a battleship. Would they do things like very long accuracy or would they go in for the brawl? Because when I think of Russians, I mostly think... Why did this all get reset? When I think of Russians, I mostly think of brawlers, these overly manly man types. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but that's the image that I get with it. Why did all of this get reset? Uh, Barbette, heavy, anti torque, three, triple hull bottom, yes. Maximum bulkheads, yes. Check. Right. Uh, oh, and they would probably have radio. I have 40,000 out of 53,000 tons used. Casemate guns don't work on this ship. The enemy has a couple of lighter ships, two destroyers, one heavy, sorry, two heavy cruisers and one light. Can you even put anything on these bridge wings here? Yes, two inch guns, three, three inch guns, yes, four, no, not five, four. Yes, oh, that's neat. Triple barrel four inch guns. 
And then I suppose, yep, you can do the same thing there. And in here? Nah. And maybe normally you could, but... No, that won't fit. Okay, so I have a bit of defense against destroyers. And considering I'm starting out at 8,000 meter range, these will already be in range. I also went after pitot tubes on this ship. They have a range of 14.6 at a speed of 48 knots. In 1930, that sounds like a really advanced ship. A really advanced torpedo. If I can get those torpedoes to land, they're going to be really quite powerful and do a load of damage. 2,990. And that's, of course, going to be mitigated a bit, at least a bit, by the amount of armor that the ship will have and the torpedo protection. Um, no, I want rapid fire smaller guns. Let's say they would coat the ship in 4-inch guns. I don't know why they would do it. Maybe for the brawls. Can I get more casement? No, bar more barbettes. Not here. No, I'm, this is what I'm looking for. The short barbette for secondaries. No joy. No. Hopefully now they don't compete with each other too much. Field of fire on this gun is pretty bad. That's a lot of 4-inch guns. Do they have enough pen? I wonder. 3.2 inches at 7.5 kilometers. <laughs> That's not really a lot. No. I imagine they would have a couple of 4-inch guns to make sure they can defend against smaller ships. But they would probably also have a few bigger guns to make sure that they can keep cruisers and stuff like that off of them. Can I put a double 8-inch amidships? And then another one here? Or here? Yes. This has a great range of fire. Lots of firing arc. This one, also quite decent. And then I don't think I can fit another one here. No, actually. Actually. I would just love to rotate those forward, because I think they look a little better if they're rotated forward. There. Starboard weight offset 9.3. Let me guess. Oh, it's not that one. Oh, you didn't delete these. I'm sorry, I thought the game always mirrors these. Also the deleting actions, but... I might have been wrong. I do like that this just about fits here. It's going to make for an interesting turret placement. And also have a great firing arc. Come on. I still have a lot of displacement left. What am I going to do with all that? Armor up, I guess. Armor up. We're fighting very short range, so more belt armor. More belt extended armor. Although, I'm not sure how much effect this is going to have at this range. We shall see. You know what? I'm going to lower the displacement. I think 53,000 tons for a ship like this is just way, way, way too big. Oh, come on, do they not fit? Oh, my poor 8-inch guns. This one... No, it's sitting too far on the edge of the ship. Let's just take a couple of steps back. 
45,000 tons. Secondary tower. Uh, let's use the modern two. Can I still get access to that barbette? Shit. I can't. That's a really big tower as well. Yeah, that won't work. So I would have to sacrifice a bit of firepower. How much do I need to up it? Never mind, I'll just go with one turret on the stern. I think that what the Russians are getting in this ship is already really quite advanced. And I want to see those 8-inch guns do work. Good firing arc. I would still love to get those 8-inch guns somewhere over here. And I can, I think. For fuck's sake, stop not copying these things. There. Now the game is sometimes complaining that some of the parts have been placed poorly, but I think they're actually quite fine. Could I maybe use the secondary? No. Maybe you need more displacement for that or something. Or you need to have at least one barbette. Yeah, maybe that's it. What? No. If you rotate them inward, they cannot fire. Because they cannot rotate, apparently. Don't ask me why. Okay, so now I still have 8,000 tons to work with. And I already have a 14-inch belt. Okay. If, you, if you're if you going to be like that about it, then I'll go with more armor. Anti-Torpedo 5. If we're going to brawl, we're going to brawl. But I won't <laughs> care about getting hit by a torpedo. Not with 60% torpedo damage reduction. Quad torpedo tube? No, quintuple torpedo tubes on the stern. I have to wait 0.8. I still have displacement left. Where am I going to put all that? And yes, I just, just did just reduce the amount of armor to Krupp 3, because I'm not sure if they would actually use Krupp 4. I mean, it is 1930. There, 7-inch deck armor. Deck extended armor, that is. Alright, I think this ship packs quite a punch. We have three dual 8-inch guns per side. We have the 13-inch guns, we got the 4-inch, and we have the torpedo tubes. Let's take it out to brawl. I wonder how many mis or how many error messages I'm going to There we go. <laughs> Missing required mount. <laughs> it's not supposed to have these turrets at all. Or the no, not the turrets, the funnels. All right, before everybody starts blowing up, let's have a look. Whoa, we're really 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 close. 1.9 clicks out. The uh, Boris has already launched its 20-inch torpedo tubes. Lots of them, too. Underwater torpedoes. And <laughs> bow and starboard torpedo tubes on the deck. Whew. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. The Makarov has also sent out torpedoes. They're all looking to kill off this one DD. DD, which has torpedoes, just hasn't used them yet. At this range, I'm definitely going to lose ships. And I'm not sure who they took as the anchor point of the fleet. I think probably the Kalmykia. But the battle range was supposed to be 8 clicks, not 6. 
Oh well. Um, hold off on the torpedo tubes and engage the enemy battleship. What sort of other ships can I expect? DDs. 21 inch torpedoes. Not bad. Light cruisers. 3 inch and 6 inch guns. And the heavies have... I saw a lot of 6 inch guns on there. Oh yes. That's 18 6 inch guns per heavy cruiser. Interestingly, a heavy cruiser like this, it, it more feels like a light cruiser, armament-wise. Alright, DDs, I want you to move towards the fleet. Uh, you. Try and torpedo that ship. It should be able to do that. Uh-oh. Here comes the launch. Boris, break formation. I do not want to be on the receiving end of whatever caliber torpedoes that is. Identification underway. What do the British build? 10 guns. Big caliber. Loads of secondaries. Of smaller types. Right. Oof. That was my destroyer. Oh no. That was quick. Alright, looks like Boars will avoid the torpedoes. I need the light cruisers to... Oh, there goes the Makarov. What happened to you, sir? You got hit by the warship with the 15-inch guns. So, their battleship. 938 and then 1200 damage. Yeah, that'll do you in. My torpedoes are still in transit. They might still hit the destroyer if I get lucky. And there's another big torpedo salvo going out here. I'm not sure if the warship, the, the battleship, has already identified, identified those. Where's the Kalmykia? Turn to port. You're a brawler, so start brawling. There goes the Nevni. <laughs> the Russians are really getting their asses kicked here. So far, even this torpedo boat, aka destroyer, has survived. Those 15 inch guns look like they are going right for another heavy cruiser. The Boris. Ah, we finally got that little destroyer. What are my light cruisers doing? Turn over there. Bit of damage against the battleship. Rest of the DD, set a smokescreen. Oh dear. Oh, the Boris did get hit by a torpedo. I thought I'd slowed it down enough by turning. But no joy. Speaking of no joy, I need to come make you at a turn before she also gets hit. So I've already lost two out of my three heavy cruisers and the third one... Oh, sorry, I've lost one of my heavy cruisers and two destroyers. But this heavy cruiser looks like it's going to have issues. Very soon. This is still a fight I can very much lose. Yeah, another torpedo hits the heavy crew or hits the destroyer here, the white hole. And there's another salvo on the way. Oh no. Don't charge in just yet, sir. You might not like what they do to you. Or at least I won't. The uh, Nikator is coming in. A destroyer with 23 inch torpedoes. Kill that before it lays eggs. Or big steel fish. Rodislav, did you actually torpedo? If yes, then what? It looks like the ship is trying to go for the monarch over here that's the guy or girl rather with all those 15 inch guns um i don't think the kalmykia is going to stand too much of a chance against that unless i charge in and try to torpedo her because the monarch does not have torpedoes it does have maximum bulkheads though displays them into 53,800 tons she's a big girl
I want you to hold off on the torpedoes until we know that the destroyers are not going to get in the way. The Boris. What's her range? 12-6. So you're well in range. Alright. Let's see if the Boris can get those torpedoes off because it's not that much at risk of torpedoing the destroyers by accident. My lights. They're still moving. But they don't have torpedoes, so they're just gunboats. Flooding and fire on the Nicator. Severe engine damage. She should get destroyed very quick. Which is good. Allows the rest of the ships to move up a bit more. Torpedoes on the Monarch, please, if you have them. Oh, it just torpedoed the destroyer. Great. There goes the Rodislav, but also the Nicator. All right. Uh, you're getting a bit in the way of the heavy cruiser of the Boris, which is trying to torpedo. Monarch can do 32 knots. She's doing 22. Torpedo detection, minus 75%. But they're not fast, these torpedoes. They're just doing 36.5. Kamikia's 8-inch guns are actually doing pretty decent accuracy here. 38%. Can barely make out the ship shape there on the distance. On the horizon. Oh, that sound. Fantastic. Lieutenant. Don't die now. I very much prefer you alive. Okay, the Boris sent out its starboard torpedoes. Swing her back to the port side. Ivan Gorod. Try the torpedo. I'll tell the Lieutenant Lombard, or sorry, Lieutenant Lombard to turn to starboard. Avoid presenting itself as an accidental torpedo target. There, well... There goes the DD. I guess that accidental torpedo wing is not going to be too much of a threat anymore. Um, this ship has a load of armor. A lot of speed, a lot of displacement, and maximum bulkheads. Good luck trying to sink that. Light cruisers, try to engage the diamond. Lancaster has launched torpedoes, and I can already see those. Don't ask me how I can see those, though. Because I don't think any ship that I have has sonar. Or at least I didn't put it on there. My DDs are dead. My light cruisers are nowhere near. And those are pretty much the only ships who I could imagine actually having sonar. The lights and the destroyers. The Boris is going to have to get away. Light cruiser, smoke up, smoke up, smoke up. Come on. Ivan. Accuracy is decent. Hold off on the torpedo tubes. I need to get closer. I need the monarch to start slowing down. At least she's no longer running away. And she's taken on a bit of flooding. Slow her down a little. There's just one small segment of that big ship of 53,800 tons. It's going to take a while before she actually notices that. 22-7. Torpedo fired from the Lancaster. Assume targets. Kalmykia. Evade. Ah, there we go. The light cruisers are taking out the diamond. At least that's one ship less to worry about. Although she's not particularly heavily armed. 7-inch guns. No torpedoes. What sort of torpedoes do these guys have? 23-inch. Torpedo visibility plus 50% because they're really quick. And that comes at the expense of range. 
Ooh. What are you firing at? The light cruisers and the battleship. So you're avoiding or ignoring Ivan. Let me educate you on how that's a bad idea. Because my torpedoes are ready. And eager. Battleship? 23-6. She's not slowing down, she's speeding up. Light cruiser Diamond has been destroyed. Carry on. Go for the Lancaster. So they have still got three ships. Including a increasingly wounded battleship. Torpedo away. Yep, torpedoes away. Hard to port. Maximum turn. Battleship is now switching fire to the heavy cruiser. It does not say yet that it's detected the torpedo. What happened here? Oh god. There goes the Kalmykia. Ammo detonation. 2110 damage. Is that the only thing that hit me? Kalmykia is flooding. I got one hit for 122. Yeah, I think that's it. It was that and the ammo detonation. And the ship is completely engulfed in flames and as such sinks immediately. Uh, that got turned around real quick. Now I'm hoping very much that the <laughs> Ivan can still land torpedoes. Because then it's just a bunch of light cruisers against heavies. Which is still not a good situation for me to be in. But at least maybe I'll be able to do something about this battleship with the torpedoes. They do look decent. 20 inch torpedoes. All smacking into the bow of the ship. Continue turning to port. Look at that. That's gonna hurt. 844 damage. Flooding from bow to stern. Starboard torpedo tubes. Please acquire target. And singular torpedo tubes amidships launched. Two torpedoes heading towards the Monarch again. Starboard torpedo tubes, the bigger ones. I'm not sure if they're still in existence. Oh, the Monarch doesn't care about the flooding. There we go. There's the rest of the torpedoes. Ivan, turn away. Monarch has detected the torpedoes is trying to avoid. Not today. Another two torpedo hits. 222 damage. She must have serious torpedo protection. Otherwise, this would be far more lethal to her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the entire broadside of the torpedo launch of the Ivan. Those were the deck launchers and the other two already hit. And yet, it just doesn't care. Or at least not a lot. Ivan, you have done admirably. Now I need you to survive. Because I will need more of those torpedoes of yours. Light cruisers are trying to sink the Lancaster. But it's going very slowly. Lancaster with a maximum of 8 inch. 13,400 ton displacement. 27.5 knots. Versus my light cruisers. With their 6 inch guns. Almost no armor. <laughs> Many bulkheads. Yeah, I don't think that's that going to be a particularly fair fight. Now, the Ivan has done a very dangerous job so far. And on the way out, it seems like it's paying the price for it. <clears throat> Monarch. She's a, deep, a little deeper in the water. But the flooding has been contained. Despite torpedoes landing all over that ship. Boris has sent at the port torpedo side. Our speed's limited to 20 knots. Let's try to get you closer to the Monarch, but she is turning. Try to hit the Black Prince if you can. Oh, she really launched a torpedo against the Monarch again. And the other bigger torpedo tubes are not ready yet. Engage the Black Prince. 
You have six inch guns. They're currently sort of my best bet against that ship. Because these also have six inch. But how many? Also twelve. No. Whoa, that's 18 guns on a light cruiser. Which is more than what my heavy cruisers are carrying. Hold on. Oh, never mind. The ship is still listed here, so I thought, hold on, she survived? Yeah, not so much. Not so much. That is the last of what we're going to see from the Kalmykia. Just taking some quick pictures for the Russian newspaper and say that that was, in fact, the British warship that sunk. I mean, you got to tell the story right, though. That was not the demise of a Russian warship. That was the last that the people saw of the monarch. Speaking of last, <laughs> torpedo on the bow. Never mind, it didn't hit. Another torpedo incoming. The Ivan can't sustain this firepower for very long. Yeah, she has taken on a big flooding hit. Maximum bulkheads. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Boris, range. Six clicks out. I do not believe that I'll win this fight. Because my light cruisers are just not capable of winning this fight. They don't have torpedoes. So unless they're able to magically burn down the Monarch... By... I don't, yeah, there goes the Ivan. Um, switch to high explosive firepower. Try to burn down the Monarch. Turn broadside. Because then we can get all of those 18 guns of yours to bear. The Dnepr. And lo and behold, the 3-inch guns. <laughs> Yeah, don't hold your breath for the uh, high explosive from those three-inch guns. Uh-oh. Nepro's taking damage. I know that going broadside here is a bad idea, but I just want to see those guns fire. I pretty much lost the fight when my battleship died. Monarch's getting a pepper in here. But it's... It's not taking fire, is it? Or it's not catching fire. Where's the Boris? Still trying to pursue. Range is now 6 kilometers. There we go. There's one whole fire set. <laughs> yeah, right. If I keep pecking away at this ship, it's not going to work. Oh, that could have easily sunk the upper. Oh, glad that didn't hit. One fire. That's it all. Just one fire. The Black Prince? The Black Prince doesn't have a scratch on her. If I let the game auto-select the armament, what is it going to pick? It is going to pick armor piercing. Although I'm getting a lot of partial pens slash... I just think shatters or ricochets. My chance to pen at this range with, for example, the Terek, 20%. If I get closer, I might be able to up that. The closer you get, the more armor pen you get. Oh, we got a flooding. Well, if we weren't able to sink that ship with 20 inch torpedoes, landing almost all 10 of them at the same time, then I think 6-inch guns won't exactly do it either. And... Oh! <laughs> yeah, one 15-inch shell hits the Terek. 2217 damage, and she dies instantly. Goodbye, Terek. It's been fun. As long as it lasted. Monarch. Supposedly flooding, but I don't see it. Takes a while to flood all that tonnage. Boris. 
Range 3.9 clicks. Alright. Still though, that ammo detonation by the Monarch was... That was turn ending, or well, fight ending for my ship. When that came in, it was just GG at that point. I'm really hoping the Boris can still land some torpedoes on the targets, but this ship doesn't need a whole lot more to just get told to move off and sink. <clears throat> Finally, the first damaging hit on the Black Prince. Then again, it's, it's heavy cruisers, well, heavy in, in quotation marks, because it's 6-inch guns. I believe the heavy cruiser tank is reserved for ships which have a different armament. But I suppose you guys would know that better than I do. So let me know in the comment section, what is the classification for a heavy cruiser? What sort of guns does it need to have? Chance to pen? 28%. White powder propellants. Oh, the Viches. Hits all over the place. Ammo detonation, fire, flooding. Engine damaged. And the Black Prince is just shrugging off all the damage. It does not care. Alright, torpedoes on the Monarch, please, before you get killed off. <sighs> torpedoes away-ish. How many do you still have left on your starboard launchers? I think that was it. Oh, there goes the Viches. Alright, let's speed this up then, because this is decided. Yeah, now she's taking fire from the secondaries, from the Monarch, and the primaries. Which she bounces, I think? That's actually quite impressive that she's able to bounce those torpedo- or bounce those 15-inch shells. Not all of that's gonna continue to bounce. Torpedoes away. Boris, turn, 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 turn. Try to live long enough for the torpedoes to at least hit. Engine damaged. Flyer. Flyer. Tur sure. Fire and flooding. And that's when you get flyer. The torpedoes at least do look decent onto the Monarch. The ship's gonna need quite a bit of time in repair. Hit. 86. Flooding. Another two torpedo hits. More flooding. There's another torpedo salvo on the way. But there goes the Boris... And the British take this one. So the Russians had the numbers, but the British had the guns and the tech and the ability to blow my battleship up in one go. I think if the battleship had gotten closer, it might have had a pretty decent chance against the Monarch. Although the torpedoes probably weren't going to be enough, as indicated by the heavy cruisers. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on that fight down below in the comment section. Um, if you have a good scenario, please again post it. Um, the more upvotes it gets, the more likely I am to actually use that as the next scenario. So even if you've already posted it once, twice, three times, post it again. And I will see if I spot it eventually. Because as I mentioned, there is a lot of these things coming in. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this scenario. Defeat Inc., thank you for writing that up. And I shall see you guys soon for another Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts video.